So at the top of page five are some little spaces here for notes. What we're just going to write are some Pythagorean triples. Do y'all remember what a triple is? Let me show you what a triple is because it makes your life easier. If you have a leg that's three units and a leg that's four units, the hypotenuse is always five units. And you can multiply these. Like this could be 300, this can be 400, that could be 500. You can multiply these dimensions by any number. That's a Pythagorean triple. Here's another Pythagorean triple. 5, 12, 13. The first two numbers are the legs. The last number is the hypotenuse. So those are triples. We're going to use those today, so you need to memorize them. All right, so let's talk about sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine, cosine, and tangent are trig functions based on a right triangle here. We know that the sine value is always the opposite over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always, always, always at the bottom. Hypotenuse is always at the bottom. That's a big thing to remember. So if I'm looking for the sine value of angle A, then it is going to be the opposite, which is little a, over the hypotenuse, which is c. Angle B's opposite leg is going to be B, but remember the hypotenuse is still C. Hypotenuse is always on the bottom. If I'm looking for cosine, it's not opposite. It's going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the word adjacent means right next to. It's the leg right next to the angle. So if I'm looking for cosine of A, we're going to use letter B this time. That's going to be B over C. And cosine of B is going to be A over C. Hypotenuse is still at the bottom. Sine and cosine always have hypotenuse. The only one that doesn't have the hypotenuse is tangent. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if I want tangent of A, that is going to be little a over little b. If I want tangent of B, then it's going to be Oh, I think I did that wrong. No, opposite over adjacent, B over A. Here's the big takeaway, guys. You have to remember Soka Toa. Remember, the O stands for opposite. The H stands for hypotenuse. Cosine is ka, because the A stands for adjacent. Hypotenuse is still on the bottom, always on the bottom. And remember, tangent is toa for opposite over adjacent. So let's go ahead and look at these examples down here. So we're going to find sine, cosine, and tangent of A. So here's A. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's going to be 5 over 13. Cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 12 over 13. And remember, tangent is always opposite over adjacent. Remember, tangent never has the hypotenuse, so that's going to be 5 over 12. No, adjacent means the one that it's right next to. That's the right angle. Um, if I asked for that, I won't ask for that because that's the right angle. It's always an acute angle. Trig ratios always come from an acute angle of a right triangle. Yep. The angle. Remember, hypotenuse is always hypotenuse. So if you look at angle A, which one's the hypotenuse? 13. So what's the other leg that makes angle A? That's adjacent. It's part of the leg that makes it. Opposite is the leg that never makes the angle. The, these letters tell me. See how they're capital? These capital letters go with angles. So sine of A, here's A. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So cosine, remember cosine is adjacent. We're going to be looking at angle W first. 
So remember, it's opposite over adjacent. What's opposite of W? I'm sorry, it's opposite over hypotenuse. What's opposite of W? 12. Mm -hmm. And then we need the hypotenuse. What's the hypotenuse? That's a 3, 4, 5. Or we memorize the triple that I told you in the beginning. This is 3 times 3. This is 4 times 3. This is going to be 5 times 3. What's the answer? 15. Memorize the triples, guys. And then, guys, this 12 over 15 simplifies to the triple base of 4 over 5. You have to simplify your ratios. So X I bolded out in green. This is X. So opposite over hypotenuse. That's going to be 3 over 5. What's cosine? I know 15 is on the bottom. Hypotenuse is always at the bottom. What goes on the top here? What's adjacent to X? 12. Mm -hmm. And that simplifies to 4 over 5. And then tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is 9 over 12, which is going to be 3 over 4. Okay, let's look at this next one. So for this next one, if you notice, we have 16 as a leg and 34 as a side. How are we going to find uh, KM? How are we going to find this leg? We need this measure right here on this right triangle, and it is not a triple. What are we going to do for that? What's the formula? A squared minus, yeah. Yep, you guys have calculators. Find it. What is that? L is right here. It is opposite over adjacent. I'm sorry, it's opposite over hypotenuse. It's going to be 30 over 34. But that is going to simplify to 15 over 17. Cosine of L is going to be 16 over 34. Those are both even. We can simplify. It's going to be 8 over 17. Tangent is going to be 30 over 16, which is going to be 15 over 8. Let's go ahead and find the values for letter M. I'll put letter M kind of in pink here. So sine is going to be 16 over 34. That's going to be 8 over 17. Cosine is going to be 30 over 34, which is going to be 15 over 17. And tangent is going to be 16 over 30, which is going to be 8 over 15. That's your trig ratio.